Welcome back to all of my recipes. Today we're gonna to be doing a rice bowl edition where basically I'm gonna teach you three different proteins and you can put those on the rice bowl however you want, mix it up either way, have them on their own. And then pretty much the rest of the stuff that goes in the rice bowl is completely up to you. You can add any extra ingredients that you wanna have with the protein and the rice. So it's kind of a dealer's choice. First things first, for the poke, I go ahead and mince up some garlic and dice up with some onion. Next, I'm going to cut up the tuna in a larger dice. Next, I add my soy sauce, my sugar, sesame oil, sambal, and then the furukake. I'm only one person, so I pack up the rest for leftovers, leaving what I'm gonna use for myself in the bowl. Now we're gonna do the shrimp. Now they've already been deveined and I'm just gonna go ahead and peel them. I'm pressing them down on the cutting board so that they are a little bit flatter. And the reason for this is when you're doing sushi, you want the shrimp to fit in there pretty nicely. Now, so that's my own personal preference. You don't have to do that if you wanna eat them just as they are, but if you plan on eventually putting it into a sushi roll, you might wanna flatten them out. Okay, so now I'm working on the crab mix. Now you can see it came in a container. Now I moved it over to the bowl because I wanna squeeze as much water as I can out of the crab. Even in that container, there's still like residual water in there. So I'm gonna take it over to the sink off camera and basically just press as much water as I can out of it. Best way to do this is take a handful at a time and then just squeeze until you can get as much of the liquid out as you can. And then you put it into a different container or bowl or whatever and then it's ready for step two step two is adding the sugar to the crab and then you want to do the lemon juice and then i add some sesame oil now something i was taught when i was working on the sushi line under a sushi chef is you want to make sure that you have a flavor profile that is pretty rounded. So you wanna make sure you have a little bit of the bitter, a little bit of sweet, um, and a little umame. And sometimes you even wanna do like the salt. But um, in this case for the crab, I'm just doing like an umame, a little bitter, and a little sugar. And the salt kinda of comes from the crab itself. And you can't forget the mayo. Okay, now for the tempura batter, I put in the flour, a little cornstarch, one egg, and then you wanna make sure that the water is actually iced. Not just cold water, but you want it to have ice in it. And the reason for this is because um, when you 
mix the cold water in with the mix, it actually blends a lot better. And it's a little bit better for getting the tempura to react in the oil the way you want it to. Now we fry the shrimp and I go to golden brown. I'm just eyeballing when they're done, but if you aren't really good at that or very versed, I would just say maybe about five minutes per shrimp on a medium heat. Thanks for joining me for this video. If you liked it, please hit the like button, uh, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when the next video is out. And I look forward to bringing you some more in the future.